Well, if you really want to know, I think you're being mean. I think you should go along to the market with Joe. Well, what purpose would it serve? Well, the purpose of showing him a bit of support. I don't support him. For heaven's sake. Look, he put steroids into those calves without reference to me or anyone else. And I'm supposed to go along and help him carry the can if he gets caught. Yes. I can't honestly see what all the fuss is about. This whole business about steroids has blown up out of all proportion. Oh, yeah. And you know about it, do you? Yes. I read the articles in the library. When all's said and done, the whole thing is to protect the European beef market against the Americans. Well, they use steroids routinely, so let's ban them and help protect our poor farmers against competitive imports. And well, you don't think we need a bit of protection? Well, yes, but that's a whole different argument. I hate to see the issues muddied by the muck and magic brigade. And all this from a woman who'd killed for an organic bean sprout. Look, Sarah, the bottom line is it's against the law, OK? Yes, but that's not your objection, is it? All right, no, it's not. I mean, the whole system strikes me as pretty dumb. You put nitrates on the field to get more grass to feed more cows, which you then make bigger with steroids. All you end up with is low prices, a beef mount, and a nitrate problem. It's a waste of time and money. <laughs> and there was me thinking it was all down to idealism. I mean, why can't I see all sides? No, I don't like seeing animals pump full of chemicals that they don't need. <laughs> well, you could give Robert vitamin pills. Well, I'm not planning to eat Robert, am I? Just have someone to talk to, that's all. Do you need a hand? Right. Be nothing better to do. Is it just these you're taking? Cool. Yeah, I took the others down earlier. You could have sold them privately to a butcher. Well, that made it any better, Jack. Would have made it less risky. Don't worry, you've got nothing to worry about. When the hammer falls, in my head gets a lump, not yours. Come on, you know we said we'd stand by you if the worst comes to the worst. As long as you don't have to do anything. It's time to sales to go. Paul Adel will get us in about one-ish. Better get a move on then, haven't we? Go on, go on. Go on in there. Jays are devils. Or was there something else? No. That's fine. <sighs> you come to the market with me? Yeah. You don't have to, you know. Do you want me to come or not? Of course I do. I just want to know the change of heart, that's all. A, you're my brother, even if you are a prat. B, it's a family business, and if I'm going to get dumped on, I want to be there to see it happen. And C, I'm sick of Sarah nagging me about it, OK? If we don't get going, we'll miss the market altogether. I want not Good. Joe? Yeah? We're running a bit late. Get you in about 15 minutes, OK? Yeah, no problem. Good-looking animals. Well, they always are at Emmerdale. Which is more than can be said for some of the farms. All right. Well, it's a bad year last year, wasn't it? All last summer was very little rain. Some of the chaps had hardly enough grass for summer grazing, let alone silage. Costing them a fortune in winter feed. Lucky if they get their money back, some of them. Yeah, we've had the same problem ourselves. Uh, well, you seem to have managed there. Especially for sucklers. What's your secret, Joe? Blood sacrifices under a full moon. Thank you, Jack. I'll pass that message on. Don't do that, Jack. My heart's pumping as it is. Flipping <laughs> Exo's mind now. Here's the vet. No, wait here. Don't be daft. I'd sooner be there to field questions myself. Hi. Hi. Everything all right? Fine. He's yours. Yeah. Look, uh, we've got to get him into the ring in a second. Sorry, we'll, we'll get out of your way. Nice beasts. Should get a good price for them. Yeah, we hope so. Think she noticed anything? She'd have said something, wouldn't she? Yeah. Of course she would. Of course she would. 